tell us, tell us about this fight, Francis and Garnu. Tell, tell us what it means. Oh man, where would I start? You'll be the death. <laughs> no, I think that's the end. Dream on, I'm finishing dream on. beating his ass. <laughs> dream on, but dream on. I think um, <laughs> whatever pills he's. This is a manifestation. You. <laughs> you know, this is a dream come true. And I remember four years ago, the first time that I met Mike Tyson right here, my, my only request was like, whenever I fight Tyson Fury, would you be in my corner? And uh, people thought I was losing it. I was crazy. It would never happen. That but was many look at years us ago, today. too. Yes, that was four years ago, July 2019. Here we are, that fight is happening. And then, um, so I'm very excited. Manifestation! I'm, I'm living a dream, you know, you, he has always been my dream and never easy, but we get it here and I want to thank everybody here, everybody that here that helped to make that fight happen, um, Bob, um, Warren, and also uh, thank you a lot for, to um, Your Excellency, Mr. Turkey um, Alasher, who made this fight happen, Riyadh season. Uh, I mean, it might be a little weird, but I really also want to thank Tyson Fury for taking the fight, for taking the risk, because, because there is a lot of risk here for him too. He might go to sleep on Saturday night. So I appreciate his courage, and I thank him a lot for the opportunity as well. So thank you, guys. Class guy, baby. Class guy. <laughs> All right, let's get an opening statement from Tyson Fury. Tyson, you've been involved in some historic moments in boxing, the Wilder Trilogy, 94,000 at Wembley Stadium. Where does this rank? It's absolutely unbelievable to be out here in the great kingdom of Saudi Arabia and to be top of the bill. The main event is even more special. So a big shout out to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Turkey Al Sheikh and everybody else who's involved, Frank Warren and Bob Aram and, and Mike Tyson and, and everybody, everybody who's here, Francis, Every, all the press, all the media, without all you guys, this wouldn't be a major event. So big shout out to all of you for turning up. Big shout out to my man over there, the snowman, Spencer Brown, a.k.a. Spencer Brown. Um, you know, we've all got a lot to be thankful for and we've all come a long, long way to be here. And this has happened in such a short space of time, Frank. Um, and to see it all unfold and to see, to be privy to some of the phone calls and some of the, the, the stuff like the organising and stuff, it, to see it all, all in real life is amazing. So first and foremost, I just want to say thank you. I'm so happy to be here, to be putting on a show. Um, and secondly, I've got big Francis Ngannou to fight. Um, he's, a, he's a big man. He's a big man. And um, I see he's took a bit of advice from me with the clothes he's wearing. He's looking a bit snazzy. <laughs> Um, they say the, the finest form of flattery is imitation. And he's got his suit on with no shirt on, and I started that. So he's imitating. And there's one thing I will say is many will imitate, but not one will ever replicate. Because yes! there's only one Gypsy King. Yes! True words, never spoken. <laughs> Francis, are you trying to imitate Tyson Fury? No, I'm trying to replicate Tyson Fury. <laughs> good answer. Good. <laughs> He's trying to replicate him. Uh, very good answer. Francis, listen, at the, at the launch press conference all those weeks ago, I asked you about the delivery system. It's all well and good having a big punch that can switch off lights, but is the delivery system in place? Is it ready now? The delivery system is very in place. It's ready. He has improved long way from when we were in, um, in the press conference in London. And Tyson, how do you prepare for a guy like this? Um, how do I prepare for a guy like this? It's pretty difficult, but in America we say a statement like this, I'm gonna knock a motherfucker out. <laughs> and that's how we do it. That's how we do it. And I've been working with Sugar Hill to knock him out cold on Saturday night, and I've no doubt in my mind that I will knock him out. Um, he's a big, strong guy. Obviously, he's got a good punch, powerful. So am I. I'm a big, strong guy, obviously powerful, or else I won't be world heavyweight champion. But I believe there's levels to the game, and he's going to find out my level on Saturday night.
Let's bring in Francis Ngannou and again Mike Tyson here and Dewey Cooper. Uh, you can all talk about this. What has this camp been like? What has the relationship been like? And Francis, what's the advice been like that you've got from these wise heads around you? Let's talk about it. Well, uh, this camp been, um, honestly, this camp, this camp been different from my past camps. You know, um, it's a different experience, it's a different beast. And um, I was aware that there was a uh, mountain in front of me. So that's why we started the camp very earlier. And um, it's been going good. But, you know, uh, having uh, somebody like Mike Tyson around, even my coach here, Dewey Cooper, that was very helpful um, in terms of like approaching this fight, you know, uh, when you have something like this, when you have to take a tree down, you find the better hatches for it. You know, some tree need more biggest hatches, and uh, that's why we um, we get Mike Tyson in. And the the first thing that Mike Tyson said to me that's stick in my mind is like, listen, he has two hands and two feet like you. And I'm like, okay, that's not it. I get that, you know, and. Um, I think that's enough for Saturday night. Tyson is definitely the best uh, in boxing, but that's that's stopping on Saturday night. Well, let me bring in Mike here. Mike, yeah. in the build-up to this, Tyson Fury has said that he's actually going to stand and trade with Francis Ngannou. He's, he doesn't plan on boxing and moving. He wants to have it out with him. Is that is that a good idea? Hey, listen, no one takes a better punch than Tyson Fury, but this is a different kind of punch. I don't think anyone's experienced a punch like this but the fellas in the UFC. So this is gonna be a very um, perplexed moment for champ. Are you ready for a different kind of punch, Tyson? I'm ready, I'm ready to rock and roll. Bring it on. I'm being really honest with you guys. Like, I've trained for a 12 round war. And if it's anything less, then it's gonna be an early night. Mm. And I've been hit by the biggest punches that's ever graced the face of the earth. And I'm still undefeated, I'm still standing, I'm still number one, so. We're going to see what Francis has got inside of him. We're going to see if he's got the guts to stand and trade with a heavyweight champion of the world. We're going to see if he's got the belief in his power. Um, and I'm not convinced. I wasn't convinced with Deontay Wilder's power until he knocked me down with it about 14 times. And now I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll see on Saturday night. I've heard all this talk before about power and all that sort of stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to a challenge. And if it's not a challenge, I'll be disappointed. Put it that way. Francis, let me ask you this. Normally, say he fights Deontay Wilder, he weighs a lot more than Deontay Wilder. He can, you know, grapple with him, push him down. Can he do that with you? No, absolutely not. And I think, and I hope for him not to have that plan because it's going to go very bad for him. I get some wrestling, some wrestling trick for him. Thoughts, Tyson? And I, and I, and I get some weight. I get some legs to take his weight, and I know how to man to deal with that. You're like a Christmas cracker, on. mate. You get pulled and there's nothing inside here. What did he say? Empty. Christmas crackers are empty and full of such Francis and Ron. Um, you should you show him. Big empty. <laughs> <laughs> to confirm there, Francis, you've been described as a, a big empty Christmas cracker. You pull it and there's nothing inside. That's what John Fury is saying here. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll eat a with a donkey Sunday morning. I think we, we, we what, uh, 48 hour away? You're gonna find out. Good. You're gonna find out, brother. We had it all before, mate. 34 times before, what they're gonna do, not gonna do. You all know different. I can't In the new well. heavyweight champ in the world, be <laughs> Francis, be a right way. No be a yeah, no How can a man of your, your credentials talk yeah. like that? Come on, boy. Okay. I can hear you very well. Man. The new yeah, champion of mother care, more. that's all he'll be. Good God almighty, man. Don't embarrass yourself, Mike, honestly. You can't beat my son, just be a man and say, you know what, we've come here to try our hardest, but we're messing with the best ever. I take care of you. I, I take care of your son, and Mike Tyson will take care of you. you want, How mate? about that? Mike, no, let me tell you, mate. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, pal. He's been chasing me for 40 years. Here, son. He's been chasing me for My 40 years. My mother never bred a coward, <laughs> and I'm not a coward. Let's uh, let's just get a final word down the table. Just a couple of words each from everyone. In the new heavyweight champ and of the world. Still, no. And still, <laughs> the new heavyweight champion of the world.
Not now, until the year 40. <laughs> 2040. He can't be beat. He's on this great kingdom of Saudi. He's on Saudi soil. My son cannot be beat. Can you, son? Get up there, my boy! Get up there, my boy! Get up there! Francis! 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 I'm showing the Francis! 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 Get him, Francis! Get him! You want to fight me? No, no. Get him! Get him! I said we'll hand him. Okay, Francis and Tyson, final word to you. What's happening on Saturday? I'm going to knock that big stiff spark Go out. Go on, my son. And there's nothing he can do about it. Go on, him. my son. No matter who he trains with, no matter what he brings on the night, I'm Go knocking on. you spark out on Go Saturday on. night. Game That's over. Life, out cold. I reverse no the table problem. to you. Out cold. I think you say out cold. Stand up, friend. Out cold. Stand up, friend. Stand up, friend. Get knocked spark yes. out. I get Without a doubt, that right hand I you is going to detonate right in your face, you big ugly daughter. 26, 30. Put the mic on. Put the mic on. No I reverse the table to you on the six rounds. Okay? I'm ready and I'm knocking you out. I'm, ready, to, I'm ready too. Out cold. I'm more than ready. Boom. Game over. I'm more than ready. Game over. I know you have multiple wives. You're going to know what it's like. You have lost you're going to know what it feels ready. like to get knocked spark out. You have multiple wives, but you have, life, time, but you have lost some of you them already. Multiple your first so don't knockout. you worry. Francis. Okay? Francis. Yeah. So see you on Saturday night. I know you can't punch. Zero power. Okay. Zero power. Then lift your chin on the way. I'll leave the chin. Leave your chin you on the way. You're going to find out if I can punch. You ain't enough to it, you big Leave your chin on the way. It'll be there. You hit it. You hit it. Hey, champ, Mike. Yeah. Take the glasses off. Right. You big, big sausage. Look at him. He's a big fat sausage. Hey, Tyson. Ch Tyson. Look how fat he is. You want my son? You He's not even in shape. Glasses? He's not even in shape. He's nah. fat, Mike. He's fat. He did 300 He's a fat sausage. Minutes. Look at him. Look how fat he is. Yes, a big I'm fat. fat sausage. Yes, I'm fat, but I can You're a fat sausage. Out. You used to knock people out when you were fat. So he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got you with that one. He got you with that that's one. That's true. That's true. I'll give him that. That is true. <laughs>